everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some Clock Tower Helen scenario. When we last left off, I was a little bit tipsy. I'm much less tipsy. I would still be more tipsy had I not completely fucked up my recording <laughs> of the first episode originally. Mm. It's kombucha, it's not booze. Don't look at me like that. Hey, if you guys had the kind of week I had you would have drunk an entire bottle of wine as well. And thankfully, I inherited my father's alcohol tolerance. Okay, schism. Oh, wait, no. This way. We still have this room, I think. Because I can't go through there because it's locked. I still need one more thing, if I remember correctly. Okay. What's this? So if the security guards off can use for naps. Okay. I need something like water dripping. He did. <laughs> well, there's bound to be something in there that I need, right? There's a key lying on the table. What's this? You have the storage key. Cool. I think that's what I need to get out of here, because I can use the pliers on the door. And then since it's a storage room, I assume I can use the storage key in the storage room. This is my assumption, because it is the storage room after all. Wait, what? Oh no, it's, it's another door, right. <laughs> There's no way to open the door. Bitch, I know that. Pardon my swearing. I'm a fucking sailor. <laughs> I tried for the longest time to curtail it. Tried to be a good girl who didn't swear. <laughs> didn't fucking work. Doorknob is wired shut. About that. I got pliers. <laughs> uh, it worked! And then. Is it locked? Okay, it's locked. Key. It opened! Awesome, let's get the fuck out of here. Gotta get to my car and fast! Let's get the fuck out! Let us get out the fuck. <laughs> okay? Okay. Well! Right. Scenario one survived. <laughs> now I just have to get. Scenario one and scenario two are actually really easy. It's when you get the scenario three that we have me having to restart every 15 minutes because of some little minutia that got missed or I didn't go fast enough or some stupid shit. Or, in some cases, went too fast. Because, yeah, that's something I found out. You can get people killed in the third scenario by finding them too quickly. <laughs> we haven't solved the case yet, and now, <clears throat> and now another mass murder. Uh, mass mur only one guy died. And you're still saying the murderer is Skitterman? But it's true. I saw him clearly. Oh boy, oh boy. I sure hope you weren't daydreaming with Jennifer. Jennifer wasn't there. Well, we're done questioning you for now. You can go home now, Teach. Hmm. I'm trying to open. There we go. Don't go out for a while, because I'll probably have to call you in again. Soon. I know, Gots. Oh, do I have to talk again? Jennifer, how you doing? <laughs> Helen. It's all right, Jennifer. Let's keep looking for more clues about Scissorman. If we don't do something ourselves, he'll probably kill us. Rude. No need for sarcasm, Teach. I don't think she was being sarcastic. I really do want to believe your story, you know. Was it the real Scissorman? 
Yes, but I don't know if it was the same one who attacked you before. Mm -hmm. But it sure didn't look human to me. Well, should we go? Okay. And yes, here's a second drink. It's uh, ginger beer. Not an alcoholic. Don't look at me like that. Somehow, I must find a clue about Skizzerman. I don't want to go talk to Nolan, but I probably have to. Okay, no reason to go to the newspaper office. Awesome, because fuck Nolan. Library? Uh, I wonder if Professor Sullivan is there. And he's got the statue. Municipal Library. Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan here? No, he hasn't come back yet. Oh, I see. Well then, that was short. Let's go say hi to Jennifer. Jenny Benny. House is surrounded by reporters. I shouldn't go anywhere near there. Great. Let's go say hi to Edward, I guess. Because for reasons. Norway International Hotel. No. Where is Edward? Okay. Helen, I heard that you were attacked by Scissor Man. Yes, I was. I don't know if he was the same one as in the Clock Tower murders. Or Clock Tower case, though. That's, that's what I get for trying to guess what they were going to say. Maybe he'll go after Edward, too. Where is Edward? I think he's in the library. He seems to... He seems to like it there. I'll go there and check on him. Would you? Shouldn't Kay do that? Please tell him to come back soon. He's ten years old. What is he doing running around by himself when he is a, um, potential murder target? Is there Sullivan? Is there? I'm, I'm not looking for Sullivan. I'm looking for Edward. Game. Have you seen Eddie Boy? Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan here? Not looking for Sullivan, I'm looking for Edward. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. I guess I'm not actually gonna look for Edward. I just told Kay I was gonna look for Edward and then fucked off. Wonder if there's any news. Probably not, seeing as we were just there. Police station. Gots doesn't seem to be here. Yeah, okay. That's not the newspaper. So is it the last possible place the research building? <laughs> the investigation of the scene seems to be over. University Research Bilge. It's building, but it says bilge. I'm gonna call it the bilge. Because it's funny to me. And I'm an asshole. <gasps> Hi, Beth. Beth, I'm fine. Yes, but more importantly, can we use the room now? Yes, but we couldn't get on all morning because of the investigation. By the way, Beth, I'd like to take a look at the statue. You mean the one they found at the scene? At the Clock Tower murders? <laughs> it takes so long to scroll. <gasps> right. I think Professor Barton had it. Well, he did, but I think he asked someone to take a look at it. It's not here? No, and Professor Barton isn't either. He's away on some police business. Darn, I wanted to look at the statue because I was hoping it would give me a clue. About Scissor Man. <laughs> Did he tell you while he was taking it? I think he said he would either take it to the library or to a man named Rick. If he took it to the library, that would be Mr. Sullivan. But who is Rick? I don't know. All right, I'll go over to the library. I'll call Mr. Sullivan. Thanks. 
and the library is where we sent it anyway, so it's fine. The Metropolitan Library! <laughs> Hopefully we'll find Edward. And by that I mean Scissor Man. Because they're the same person. This is gonna end well. And by that I mean poorly. Alright, woman. Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan here? No, he hasn't come back yet. Oh, I see. God damn it, woman! Can't they just wait here for him? No. Fine, I'll go to the police bilge. This is not the university bilge! Alright, are you here, Gots? I gots to talk to Gots. Gots, any new info, Teach? Do you know a man named Rick? Rick? That sounds familiar. Is his last name Grimes? Oh yeah, he's the old geezer that used to be the butler for the Burroughs family. The Burroughs family? Of the clock tower case? That would mean he... Well, he quit ten years ago before it all happened. I went to see him once, but he didn't know anything about the case. Okay. But anyway, what about him? Well, Professor Barton might have given the statue to him. The statue? What for? That statue just might be the key to the secrets of Schismin. I think Professor Barton wanted him to look at it. I see. And since you believe in Scissor Man, you want to get your hands on it too? Well, if you want to put it that way... Rude. Well, we ain't got any other leads, do we? I can go and get it. You will? All I have to do is go talk to Rick and get the statue. Right? Nothing to it. Yes, but... Ask Gods yes or no. So, if you sent the statue to the library, you have to tell Gods no. When we played as Jennifer, we sent the statue to Rick, so we told Nolan, her secondary character, yes, so he would go get it. If you tell Gods yes here, for some strange fucking reason, Helen doesn't also go to the library to check there. If you tell Gods to go check Rick, then she doesn't go to check the library. Which is where it is right now. No. So you have to tell Gods no. If you gave the statue to Rick, then you tell Gods yes and you place Gods for the next section. Thank you for offering, but Mr. Sul Sullivan at the library may have it. If he doesn't, I'll give you a call. Okay, no problem. Just let me know as soon as you need me. Scenario two, and I'm playing as Edward? No, I'm playing as Helen. Game, go home, you're drunk. <laughs> Hi. Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan in? Mr. Sullivan? He's in the head librarian's office. I see. Thank you. Oh, it's probably this way. I have no memory of this place. I vaguely remembered um, playing through Rick's section when I was a kid. I do not remember the library at all. Hi, Edward. I do know I have to make sure I find the statue here because you can leave without it, which tends to end poorly. Well, if it isn't Edward, what are you doing here? It's boring at the hotel. Hmm. Why are you here alone is the problem. Is Kay with you? No, she isn't. Oh. Kay. Creeper child. Evil creepy child! I probably need that ladder back there eventually. Could you not nonchalantly walk around? Don't you know you're in a horror game, lady? In horror games, this is a take going quickly. Is 
the reading room. I need a key. Sure, this is Mr. Sullivan's office. I'm probably going to get attacked by Skizzer Men as soon as I go through here. This seems part of the fucking course. Hello, Helen! He's dead. <laughs> it's been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Sullivan? I heard about what happened to you. How terrible. Yes. By the way, Mr. Sullivan. Yes, I have heard. There is something you would like to research? I will give you a key to the reading room. So you can use the reference materials as... You please. <laughs> the reading room is right next door. Oh, and... The statue. Oh, yes, that's it. Professor Barton left it with me. Please, come pick it up on your way out. Thank you very much, Mr. Sullivan. So the statue's in here, is it? It's probably in this room. And I'm definitely gonna have to do a puzzle, because she's gonna go to the reading room, do some puzzling, or some looking, and then Skizzerman's gonna attack her, and then she's gonna have to go run over to that Sullivan guy's room and go, oh no, it's locked all of a sudden, and I'm gonna have to go find a key. And then shenanigans. Probably some death. Definitely some death. I need this song as a ringtone. I should really like this tune. The reading room. There are many valuable works here available to university personnel. I just hope there's something here that will explain the scissor man. Probably not. Books related to England are up there. Okay. Lords of Northern England. This is it. How would you know that? Hi. She has scissors on her back. Excuse me, but the library will be closing shortly. She's gonna get attacked by scissor ant through the door. I bet you fucking anything. Oh, I see. I found a clue about scissor man. I still have to pick up the statue. For dead body. Reception is dead body. Strange, the clock is chiming. Hi! Oh, Mr. Sullivan. Helen! It seems the bells of the giant clock are broken. I think I'll go have a look. And he's dead. <laughs> well, I'll go with you. Thank you. Please follow me. He's dead. The clock hasn't been working for ages. He's dead. I wonder if someone has been messing with it. Oh, Don't no. put your head in- RIP! Hi, bitch! How you doing? I assume I'm gonna need to get a key from this corpse, and also what did I tell you about it? Why would you stick your head in there? Are you a fucking idiot? Maybe I can throw the ladder at him. Come at me! Stop! <laughs> Again, take the scissors away! Like, the fuck is he gonna do to you without the scissors? Take Hell. the goddamn. See, I am assuming that I need to get a key off of his corpse. But I also know that Edward is Scissor Man. And it came from upstairs. I'm gonna check Sullivan's office first. <laughs> Just in case. <gasps> I'm 
documents relating to the multiple personalities on the desk. The center of these envelopes is Professor Burton. Barry Burton. Side, I wonder if there's anything else. Probably in this room over here. Not doing it. Lecture room can't- God damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna have to go upstairs. I'm gonna save. <laughs> Game, you're an asshole. <laughs> Making me do shit for the express purpose of getting my ass murdered. Turn on. Sounds like my love life. I mean, what? <laughs> I find fucking hell. I can't go behind the stairs, right? No, I can't. Okay. Because for some reason, there's just this huge space behind the stairs. This is going to end poorly. I s I'm probably going to die doing this. I assumed I would need to get Sullivan's key from his corpse. Edward. Edward. Where's the body? <laughs> See, I fucking called it! I knew it was a bad plan. I was just also assuming that I was gonna need to get a key off of Sullivan's corpse in order to open that doorway. Oh, hi! Uh, lady? I just hide? Oh, okay. This is a terrible idea. I'm gonna get caught. <laughs> I'm gonna get caught. This is a terrible fucking hiding spot. Are you kidding me? That fucking works? <laughs> Game, go home, you're drunk. So that lady, receptionist lady, is defo dead. Okay, but can I go through those doors? I need to find Sullivan's key, but his corpse is gone for some reason. Excuse you? <laughs> Files on the shelves. Files on the shelves. Files on the shelves. Edward. I thought you'd still be here. Wait, what? Stab yeah, him! Here. Come with me. Edward, you hide under this table until I call you. Be a good boy, and don't worry, we'll make it. Stab him! Or break the fucking front door, lady! Like, what is wrong with you? Wait, no, I saw a thing. There we go. Too many reference materials. Okay, so Edward's down there. No, 
might as well check all my bases while I'm here. It's always full of foreign books. Hang on. Well, I guess I go to go up to the fucking clock tower. Even though Sullivan's body vanished. Also, again, like, you should be able to just break the damn front door. Can't see. <laughs> the operation panel of the big clock, something's written on it. We've discovered hint number seven. Okay, is that it? Where the fuck did Barton's body go? Okay, fine. I would have assumed he would have had a key to his um, stupid thing on his corpse, but apparently his corpse had vanished. The thing is, there's no way they would be able to get it out of this goddamn room. He's probably either in Kay's corpse or, um, I don't like that. Okay. So the library clerk, she's obviously dead. Okay. Helen, help. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you, Skizzerman. I want to go through the stair- I want to go through the door! No, don't go hide! Don't go hide! Door. Because I'm pretty sure that the freaking desk is gonna be a one-time use. Wait, what? Can I hit him with the fax machine? This is a terrible hiding spot. No way he doesn't find me. She managed to push a fax machine so quickly to knock a dude over. I don't even. No! I need the statue! A police iron's heard. Someone must have called the police. No, fuck the police. I got shit to do! I need to go find the statue. <laughs> Fuck you. I need statue. This looks like it's useful. Character desk in perfect order. I bet everyone has gone home. This is being perfect order. Is there another? Four and seven cards on the table. Okay. Yeah. I know I need to find the fucking Sullivan key. It's not letting me do anything. Uh uh, I'm not doing it. Hope this is networked to the outside. Plant does seem to be helpful. Please tell me I didn't fuck this up. <laughs> See you later, Mr. Policeman. There is shit that I have to do. It doesn't seem possible. There were so many people here a moment ago. There's only two. Okay. 
Okay. What over here? Magazine. Red stains. Blood, obviously. I don't have time to read these books. There are many encyclopedias. Okay. <laughs> so since God's his key wasn't where God's key was supposed to be. How you doing, Edward? Edward should be hiding on the table, if even if only him. He must escape from here. Okay. So what am I missing? Because I'm pretty sure if I leave without the statue, I get the bad ending. So I need to make sure I have my fucking statue. Why do I still have the pliers? I guess I just didn't click on the freaking desk enough times. Okay. Cool. Now I can enter the collection room. Cute. I'm sure there's not going to be a schizer man in here. Collector and Sullivan keeps the artifacts dug up in Egypt and other places, of which he is very proud. Sullivan has shown you this room only a couple of times, but it's pitch dark inside. Uh, didn't there used to be an aquarium in here? I could use a light from it. Wait, that was the door? I can't fucking see. Okay, I think the, over here? No. I can't. Here? Because <laughs> I have my ring light in my face, it makes it difficult to see things when it's dark light. Oh, fuck, that's a schizerman! <gasps> Stop, bitch. Well, there's the statue. <laughs> Nothing in here. Yeah, nothing in here. Could throw the trash at him, I guess. What else can I use? Shit! Thing in here. Fuck. Milan! <laughs> Fuck it, desk. This is probably gonna kill me. This is definitely gonna kill me. No way he does not find me here. It zoomed in more. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I would have totally assumed that that was a one-time deal. No, don't use the library- or use the computer, dumbass. I want to double-check this room just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Because the front desk still rings like a trap to me. <laughs> so I'm gonna check everything else one more time. Clerical doesn't 
but everyone has to go home. Definitely seems to be useful. Because I know this game can be tricky with the, oh, you gotta check everything three times. Thousand shells. Thousand shells. Okay, so it's not there. I'll double check this one more time, and then I'm pretty sure that's everything in this room that can be checked. Okay, that should be it. Just double check. But, we're towards the end here. Actually, I've gone over time by quite a bit. So I'm going to end the video here, you guys. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some Clock Tower. I'll see you all in the next video.